This is lesson two in our astronomy domain. The title of this lesson is The Earth and the Sun. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain why we have day and night. Before we get started, we have some vocabulary words that you will need to be familiar with during this reading. The first one is gravity, the force or pull of objects down to earth or toward each other. Horizon, the place in the distance where the land or a body of water appears to meet the sky. Orbit, a regular and repeated path that one object takes around another, usually in space. Planet, a large object in space that does not provide its own light but circles around a star for light. And rotates, which is spins around an axis or center. All plants animals, and people rely on the sun for life. We learned this in the last lesson. The sun's energy gives life to plants, which in turn provides food for animals and people. The sun's heat keeps the surface of the earth warm enough for plants and animals to survive. For people on earth, it makes sense to say that the sun rises in the morning. Each morning at dawn, the sun appears on the horizon in the eastern sky. At dawn, some people say, look, the sun is coming up. The first appearance of the sun above the eastern horizon is called sunrise. Over the course of the day, the sun appears to move across the sky, gradually following its path from the east to the west. In the evening, the sun sets in the west. Ever so slowly, it gets lower in the sky and disappears below the horizon. That's when people say the sun is going down. This disappearance of the sun below the western horizon is called sunset. So, based on what we can see from where we live on Earth, it seems sensible to say that the sun moves across the sky each day, rising or moving up in the east, and setting or sinking down in the west. But that's not actually the truth. It is the daily rotation, or spin, of the earth that makes the sun appear to rise and set each day. Earth spins or rotates on its axis. This is the axis right here. It's an imaginary line that goes through the center of the earth and as we can see it's slightly tilted. It doesn't go straight up and down. Imagine the earth's axis, axis as an imaginary pole sticking through the center of the planet from north to south. It takes 24 hours, or one day, for the Earth to spin, or rotate, all the way around one time. The daily rotation explains why there is always night and day on Earth. As it spins, certain parts of the Earth's surface face towards the sun, receiving its heat and light. When, it's, when it is light on one side of the Earth, it is dark on the other side. So. If it is daytime where you are right now, then on the other side of the earth it is nighttime and the children there are sound asleep. And when you are nestled into your bed at night, children on the other side of the planet will be waking up to a bright new day. This spinning or rotation of the earth, however, is not the only way that earth moves in space. Because earth is a planet, it also moves or revolves around the sun. The word planet means a large object in space that revolves around a star for light. And as we learned in the previous lesson, the sun is actually a star in our solar system. It's the only star in our solar system. So the Earth is moving around the sun. Earth moves or revolves around the sun following a constant path. The path that Earth follows around the sun is called the Earth's orbit. Earth follows the same path as it revolves around or orbits the sun. It takes about 365 days, or one year, for Earth to make one complete orbit, or revolution, around the sun. But how and why does Earth orbit the sun? The answer to this question involves one of the most important lessons you can learn in the study of astronomy. In space, there are large objects like the sun, and there are smaller objects like the Earth and Moon. 
all objects in space actually pull all other objects, but larger objects pull harder than smaller objects. The force that causes objects to pull on each other is called gravity. As this pulling action happens, the force of the sun's gravity holds Earth in its place. Although Earth continues to follow its orbit around the sun, the Earth does not wander off into space. Just as the sun pulls on the Earth and other objects out in space, the Earth pulls on objects on or near its surface. Because of this, your feet stay planted firmly on the ground, and if you jump up, you come straight back down. If you throw a ball in the air, it falls straight back down too. This force of gravity holds things on the ground, and it holds the planet Earth in orbit around the sun. You cannot tell that the Earth is always moving as you sit in your classroom or wherever you happen to be. It rotates or spins all day and every day as it travels in its year-long course around the sun. These two types of movement, the rotation and the revolution of Earth, create the days and years that we keep track of on the calendar. So to get our daytime and our nighttime, the Earth rotates around itself. So if you stood in the middle of your living room and you just spun around in a circle without moving, that's what the Earth is doing. The Earth is rotating around its axis. It's just spinning. That's what creates our daytime and our nighttime. If you were to go outside your house and walk around your whole house, that's called revolution. And that's what our Earth does around the sun. And that's what's give, giving us our year our spring, summer, winter, and fall, our year. So rotation is the Earth spinning in, around itself, and revolution is the Earth spinning around the sun. If you need to repeat anything in this lesson, please go back and do so now. When you are finished, please go back to Seesaw and complete the activity for lesson two.